Carlingford Medieval Week is in full swing, with the Norman family now living in Taft's Castle and preparing for the arrival of King John, who will close out the festival. The Dundalk Democrat found spirits were still high as the participants went about the daily chores of a typical medieval family. I kind of slept well, which is a big thing. That, uh, we had uh, um, oysters, and there's an industrial pot stack of periwinkles there. Who knows how that will turn out? We, we hope that numbers will turn up. And, uh, we do learn more from the people who've done it more. Basically, if you see anybody with a beard, they know lots and lots. I'm about to start fixing these girls' shoes. Um, the broken, so. Come with somebody for some. They just refuse to swim every day in the green oak, every morning, every evening. And they geese, they should go up to swim. I just stand here. I think it's the steps. I think we need to find a flat entry to a river. You got things like crones? Old crones and yes. wise and old men. I think look. Had a thing of life expectancy as well. Did you catch a bad disease? Did you get injured? You know what? There's no such thing as old heroes. No. They seem happy in that, do they? Are they happy here? Can they clean themselves here? Is the issue? <laughs> they seem content, and they seem to be washing themselves. Let's give them about ten minutes. Sit in the wall. Yeah. On the wall over here. Got him jealous of them. When geese aren't being wrangled nor shoes repaired, the medieval family are collecting food for their evening meal. As well as gathering local plants, they also set traps for animals and fish in Carlingford Lock. Do you um, feed that down along there? Good sir. As well as those living in Taft's Castle, there are a number of craftspeople providing goods and services in a medieval village situated on the local tennis courts. My name is uh, James Bredigan. I'd be from Kilrush, this uh, West Clare. Uh, basically, my, my, my grandfather was probably the last commercial curric builder in Clare, so I was fortunate enough to do my apprenticeship with him. What we're building here today is a typical Clare curric. Currucks go back thousands of years, but in uh, but the, but this is really is a modern curric, which probably goes back about 200 years ago. I started this curric uh, yesterday, and uh, the plan is to have it done by Sunday. So and uh, she's going to be raffled off. So some lucky person in Dundalk is going to be the proud owner of this curruck. Robert Coulter, uh, company MySpace, uh, sells herbs and spices from around the world. They would use the spices in medieval times to take away the taste of salt. Uh, a lot of meat and all was stored with salt to keep it fresh. And to take a severe taste of salt away, they would use uh, some like chilies and herbs and thyme and things like that. My name is Roshi Carroll. Our grandmothers knew how to actually use these herbs. They knew A, where to find them, B, what to do with them, how to take them, when to take them. They might not have understood why they were, why it was good for a, the, a particular, specific herb was good for a specific ailment. But it was just traditional and they, they just trusted that. So this is how the herb is ground. It's put into um, a pestle, you, you use a pestle and mortar with it and you just, I have got down here at the bottom of this, peppermint. And that went in as flowers 
a bit like the chamomile. And then it's just rubbed around until it becomes like a powder. And that then can be used. Like I say, the peppermint, the rosemary, all of those that I've mentioned can be used as a tea. Hi, my name's Joanne Callum and I'm here this week. Um, we're, doing, we're basically doing card reading. I suppose it was probably traditionally the, the gypsy style, Romani style um, fortune telling and that, that was done then. Obviously we've changed and moved it forward into the 21st century. Look at the heck, the, the card on a pendant here for this, this man, for his daughter. Just carved on a piece of slate using the old alphabet, um, which is really hard. So you have C, L, A, I, R, and E. I'm working on stone over 25 years. I do it lightly first, and then I, so as I can space it all in, like you know, you're constantly looking at it working out as you're moving up. So when you're doing these, when you're not doing so many of them, they're fine. When you start doing a lot, the concentration mentally, you start to drain and you know, I just have to stop. Because it looks easy, but That. So there we go, we have the K, A, T, I and E. Rain or shine, the medieval family are out and about in the locality, the main attraction of the festival which will continue until August 29th.